Welcome to quantitative reasoning solution section and today we have quantitative reasoning from Lantern Step Book 4, page 69. Thank you for joining in today and to our new viewers, kindly subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions and mathematics problems. And to our subscribers, thank you for staying with us. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, share with others. Right, so we have this problem with 5, 5, 3, 4. And this example, we have 4, 17, 8, and 2. And for this example, we have 13, 5, 7, and 4. All right, so don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Okay, so we are going to start with this to find... 5 at the middle, this, we would have 3 squared plus 4 squared, that gives us 3 squared is 9 plus 4 squared is 16, and we have 25, 9 plus 16 is 25, so 25 divided by the 5 up, Remember, we're looking for the 5 at the middle. So 25 divided by 5, we have our 5. Okay, so let's see if it's going to work for this. To find 17. So to find 17, we're going to have 8 squared plus 2 squared. 8 squared plus 2 squared. So 8 squared, we have four, 64 plus 2 squared, we have 4, right? So when you add them, you have it gives you 68. So 68 divided by this 4, that gives us 17, right? So let's go to the next to find 4 here. So we're going to have 8 squared plus 2 squared and 8 squared gives us 64 and y, y 2 squared gives us 4 so 64 plus 4 is 68 so 68 divided by 17 we have a 4 right so don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel okay so let's move ahead to find 8 we're going to have 4 this 4 times 17 this and that would give us 68 so 2 squared equals 4 okay so 68 minus 4 we have 64 hence square root of 64 equals 8 all right and next we're going to find to find two so to find two we're going to have four times 17 and four times 17 is 68 okay that's four times 17 that gives us 68 and our 8 squared we're going to find the value of 8 squared and 8 squared is 64 okay now next we're going to have this 68 minus 64 68 minus 64 gives us 4 and our square root of 4 we have a 2 Okay, so if you're going to apply the same method here and here, you will definitely come up with similar answer. All right, so don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions and mathematics problems. Bye for now.